السلام علیکم ہوپ سو یو آل ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ ہیلدی ویلکم ٹو مائی نیکسٹ ویڈیو ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس یو ایشریکیا کولائے آئی ایم مائکرو بایولوجسٹ سو ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ول ڈسکس یو واٹ از ایکولائے اسٹرکچر آف ایکولائے ہیبیٹیٹ آف ایکولائے کلچرل ریکوائرمنٹس آف ایکولائے اینڈ ہاؤ ڈو یو گیٹ فرام ایکولائے سو فرسٹلی ڈسکس ود یو واٹ از ایکولائے ایکولائے بیسیکلی اٹ از اے بیکٹیریا وی آل نو ڈیٹ بیکٹیریا آر پروکریوٹک آرگنیزمس سو ایکولائے از آ ٹائپ آف بیکٹیریا ایکولائے از اے گرام نیگیٹو نان اسپورلیٹنگ روڈ شیپ بیکٹیریم اٹ از اے فیکلٹیٹو اینروبک فیکلٹیٹو اینروبک آر دوز آرگنیزمس وچ کین سروائو ان بوتھ آکسیجنیٹڈ اینڈ ڈی آکسیجنیٹڈ انوائرمنٹ اینڈ کولی فارم بیکٹیریم pertaining to the genus Escherichia the bacterium Escherichia coli was discovered by german scientist Theodor Escherich in 1857 to 1912 e coli was first discovered in 1885 by baby species now moving to the next scientific classification we all know that five kingdom classification in five kingdom classification domain kingdom phylum class order family genus and then species so domain of e coli is a bacteria kingdom bacteria phylum proteobacteria class gamma proteobacteria order enterobacterials family enterobacteriaceae genus escherichia and species e coli so moving to the next slide structure of e coli this image shows the structure of e coli e coli have cytoplasms ribosomes plasmid dna nucleot dna pili plasma membrane cell wall capsules and flagellum flagella help to move bacteria so this is the image uh, this is this image of e coli so moving to the next slide habitat of e coli e coli that live in many species we all know that bacteria present everywhere in the world e coli live in many places in environments soil sands water etc in uh, so in uh, basically uh, habitat of e coli they present in gastrointestinal systems of humans and warm blooded animals where it is the part of gut microbiota it can live for long periods of time in feces soil and water and it frequently used as water contamination indicator organisms so moving to the next slide <clears throat> cultural requirements of e coli e coli cells may grow on solid or in liquid medium under laboratory conditions in microbiology laboratory we grow e coli from in nutrient agar and mcconkey agar the nutrient requirements energy sources ammonium salts nitrogen source and other salts and other trace elements are help to growth of the e coli e coli can grow temperature ranges from 10 degree to 40 degree the optimum temperature for the most strains 37 degree celsius is the optimum temperature for the growth of e coli and the normal ph 4.5 to 9.5 9.5 and the optimum ph is uh, 7 neutral ph for the requirement of the e coli growth this image shows e coli growth on nutrient agar and this image shows the e coli growth on mcconkey agar they turn pink color moving to the next slide how do you get e coli e coli get from eating contaminated foods drinking unpasteurized beverages drinking contaminated water it getting in your mouth touching poop or contaminated surfaces not wiping properly after going to the bathroom thank you if you like my video please like subscribe and share thank you so much